What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. And guess what? What? There's something coming around the corner. What's coming around the corner? Santa's coming. He's coming to town. Santa is coming to town uh, in about 20 days, actually 19 days when you guys see this. Yes. Recording the day Ooh, before. 19. So we've got our first Christmas video on the channel, high five. We love Christmas. We were going to do it on December 1st, but it's been delayed because we didn't upload and then we uploaded our videos. Yeah. But we've got a Christmas video out. And this is Christmas in America and in the UK. It's very different, apparently. 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 According to this video, it's very different. Smash the like if you enjoy Christmas. Smash the like if you enjoy this video. What is the like goal? 3,000 for Christmas. 3,000 for Christmas. That's going to be hard to hear. Sorry, about 3,000 for Christmas. Smash that like button. We're on the content grind. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And uh, yeah, ha happy days. It's happy December. Christmas. It's Christmas. The World Cup's on. We happy can't Christmas. complain. Happy Christmas. Don't mention the World Cup. The World Cup is on. England's doing well. As of now. We may go out to France, but fingers crossed we don't. <laughs> smash that button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Is it France? We've got France on Saturday, Ooh. yeah. Um, smash okay. that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And let's check out why Christmas in America is very different. Yeah, I hope it's good. Let's go. Yeah, I best be good Christmas. in America. You bet, guys, best do it big. But I, 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 do. I got a feeling you do Thanksgiving a lot bigger. Yeah, but so I maybe it's just definitely doing. We'll see. Christmas in USA and the UK is different, even the lights and the tree. Different Christmas tree. Oh. It's that time of year again. It's getting colder outside, the yeah, Christmas lights are going up, using. the nights are getting longer, and children are eagerly writing their wish lists for Santa Claus, Christmas songs on the radio. And that only means one thing, the holidays are here. Those living in America might think that Christmas is the same all over the world. However, there are some pretty big discrepancies between the ways some countries celebrate it. One big one, Boxing Day. We have Boxing Day, America doesn't. Yeah. If you don't know what Boxing Day is, let us know in the comments and maybe we'll explain or someone can explain if I see the comment. Yeah. This video will go over the differences between a Merry Christmas in America and a Merry Christmas in England. We compare everything from Father Christmas to Santa Claus, okay. Rimbo to Christmas, we say both, and don't other we? holiday traditions yeah. that we are say slightly- say Father Christmas and Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. And some people say Crimbo. I hate some people say that. I, I feel like it's kind of like just uh, some people just do it. I don't it know why. It me up. But some people do say that and then people just say Christmas as well. Mm -hmm. There you go. Different depending on which side of the Atlantic you call home. Before we begin this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't Same miss here. out on Christmas. all of our awesome that life hacks, tips, Christmas. and tricks from your number one bestie. And make sure you tell your friends about our channel so they can join in on the fun. Now, keep watching for some hilarious differences between Christmas in America and Christmas in England. Number 12. Father Christmas or Santa Claus. Both. During the holidays, young children in England refer to Santa Claus as Father Christmas. I would say while Father Christmas and Sa Father Christmas is Santa Claus. Yeah, I'd say Father Christmas my, is more of like, an older thing. At school, when I was growing up, the kids in my family, it's always Santa's coming. Yeah, Santa's coming. We never, we, I feel like older generations say Father Christmas. I think it is older generations. But even you, my mum and that, they all say Santa. I, I think it depends what you, what mood you're in. It, yeah. It's weird, you can say but both. I would definitely say that in England we say and Santa. And I think more. a lot of the songs have Santa in as well, which yeah. kind of eggs towards that as well. Yeah, I would say Santa Claus is more common than... We're Santa one in. We're already myth busting this video. <laughs> Santa Claus weren't always synonymous during the last century, they have essentially become the same thing. Before Victorian times, Father Christmas was more concerned with adult feasting and merrymaking and had nothing to do with children or giving gifts and Christmas presents. Okay. He also wore a green suit, not a red one. Wow. Number 11, letters for Santa. During the holidays in England, instead of sending your wish list to Santa via the mail service, you instead place your wish list of Christmas presents you want in the fireplace yes. and set it on fire. This festival was a big thing. See, we n I never did that. You know, you've heard about those, surely? No. Oh, wow. In, the UK, in England, I know maybe in Jersey it's different, but no, in England... we wrote letters. Yeah, wrote letter, um, fireplace. No, we wrote letters gone up. and we put them in the post box. And it was a big, big, it's a big thing in Jersey. It still is a big thing in Jersey. And the post office actually... So you put the address on Santa Claus and the post office, Jersey post office, writes back to every child that oh, that's pretty cool. on as Santa. Oh, so that's that was awesome. just a thing through when I was growing yeah. up. Now it still does it. Oh, wow, um, there we go. I'm so going to write my letter to Santa Claus this year. 
Oh, well, maybe not. But the the maybe the fireplace isn't as common then. I guess a lot of people don't have fireplaces as well nowadays. But that definitely is an olden thing. And in the UK, a mm. lot of people do definitely do it. But like I say, the yeah. mail. And I, I want to write a letter to Santa this year. You're not getting anything. <laughs> How does Santa Claus see their wish lists if it's nothing but ash? Well, magic, magic you see. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of these off. differences between the holidays in America and England so far? And are you curious about other strange Christmas traditions from other countries all over the world? Mm, okay. Well, if you want to learn more about weird Christmas traditions, make sure you stick around until the end. Number 10. Crimbo. When someone wishes you a happy Crimbo, they aren't having that. a stroke. They are probably just English. Crimbo is an Krimbo. English slang word for Christmas. Yeah, but... According to the Oxford... I feel like... Oh no, I just hate it. I I no, I've never said that in my life. I never. Will I'm gonna go in in some context. It can be okay. Yeah, but it's when people say that, like, why are you saying? Just say Christmas. It's yeah. About as much. On an email, someone's put, "Yeah, but what are you doing for Crimbo?" As a joke, I can kind of get it. But you don't say happy Crimbo to people. No, you just have a Christmas. It's not. about the same amount of energy. If you guys are annoyed about that, we're equally as annoyed. Yeah, I'm annoyed about <laughs> that. English dictionary. It is used when speaking in regards to holidays, more secular and commercial elements. Number nine, Boxing Day. Oh, Boxing the day Day. After boxing Christmas day. in England is a holiday called Boxing Day. The day after Christmas in America, although they do celebrate Boxing Day in Canada, is called Look December 26th. There is no agreed upon theory as to where Boxing Day gets its name, although the Oxford English Dictionary does give this definition. The first weekday after Christmas Day, observed yeah. as a holiday on which postmen, errand boys, and servants of various kinds expect to receive a Christmas box. Oh, there you go. Keep watching we as we continue to count down the top differences between Christmas in America and Christmas in England. But do like dragging this video sure out. Stick around until like the very this end very long to learn for about. No I'm gonna say they are dragging this video out quite they, a bit. They are. Strange Christmas traditions Next fact in three from seconds. other countries in and around the world. Number eight, Christmas dinner. Like in America, Christmas dinner on Christmas Day in England is a big occasion. Oh, yes, it is. Although there are few subtle differences, for example, roasting turkey is a must for Christmas dinner in Christmas England. Turkey, well, yeah. some American households might opt for ham okay. or goose. Oh, wow. Other slight differences that are reserved only for Christmas in England include bread sauce, which isn't a sauce for bread, I've but never had sauce that. thickened no. with bread and bacon-wrapped sausages. Oh, yeah. pigs and blankets. Oh, you guys must yeah, bacon-wrapped bacon sausages. That's pigs and blankets. Surely pigs you have them. Pigs and blankets, oh. They're good. They but good. bread sauce, I've heard about that. Yeah, I don't like but more it. more people talk about it. I've never seen it, never had it in my life. But I've heard about definitely, it. Definitely, yeah, I don't like it. Though. But, yeah, may maybe we'll give it a go this year. Maybe not. <laughs> but pigs in blanket. Mwah. We've got that in our freezer, actually. Oh, we should have some tomorrow. Definitely. <laughs> Number seven. White Christmas. Yeah, we don't experience that. While we don't get it is possible don't to have a mic. white Christmas in England, more often than not, it will probably end up being a green, rainy Christmas day in the end. Cheers. Sounds right. While it Cheers. doesn't snow everywhere in America, if you are in one of the northern states or in Canada, you can pretty much guarantee you will be having a white Christmas. If you live in a warmer climate and have never experienced a white Christmas, <laughs> well, you have no English. idea what you're missing out on. It ain't a true Christmas day. If there warmer ain't no than Canada. Snow. I can't it's imagine warmer Christmas Day can, though, Canada, being though. hot and sunny. It's weird. Yeah, it? that would be weird. But some people have it, don't they? Yeah, They're used but like, to it. and that's normal for them. They probably can't imagine it being snowy and cold. Yeah, it's just whatever you use, mm -hmm. isn't it? But we are a warmer climate compared to Canada because it's too warm to snow. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you get me. No, I know, but like it's just weird seeing. I don't. But when it's freezing outside, like, <laughs> him walking us. around with t-shirts on when we're talking about Christmas. <laughs> it's bolting. Number six, home decor. This isn't to say that they don't put up Christmas decor in England, but we do. when we you do. compare the Christmas decor Americans put up to the English, there isn't really much competition. You guys like do Like everything do stuff else, extreme. Americans do things big, from Christmas presents to Christmas decor. They do it all. Can't argue about Number that. five, Christmas desserts. While Americans may satisfy their post-dinner sweet tooth with a piece of... Um, is it not Christmas pudding? Christmas pudding, Christmas cake. I'm not a fan of. Christmas pudding. Yule chocolate, Yule they, log. They put money in the Christmas uh, pudding as well, don't they? Yeah, so Christmas pudding, Christmas cake. Yep. 
Christmas chocolate Yule log, which is so good. I just don't have dessert. I'm not really a big dessert eater. Christmas log is so good. Or mm. like ice cream for the kids. I used to have ice cream and jelly. I think yeah, I might have ice cream. Trifle. Maybe we'll have vanilla ice cream. <laughs> so many, <laughs> actually. <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> Pumpkin or pecan pie. Residents That's of England American. will quench their sugary urges with a helping of Christmas pudding or mince pie. Mince, mince pie. pie. Christmas pudding is composed of dried fruits Scrimp. held together with egg and suet Scrimp. and flavored with a variety of spices. Number four, Christmas crackers and paper hats. It's customary in England to open your Christmas crackers and don your paper hat That's before you eat dinner. Yeah, you what is it's a Christmas like cracker person, exactly? Yeah. Well, it isn't the kind you eat with cheese. Wait, what? You guys don't have it crackers? Is... You don't have Christmas crackers? You don't have Christmas crackers where you get, like, normally you have them in, you'll boom, pull. Just hit the mic. Oh, we hit the mic, it's still working, it's okay, pull. <coughs> normally you get one winner each. If you want to, you give it to a person who has one, Come don't on, you? Come on, you have Christmas. Get a little paper hat. Crackers. Crackers. <laughs> little paper hat, your little pathetic toy, and you get a little joke as well, and everyone says Surely. a joke. Oh, that's great. No? Surely, that, let, let us know in the really comments. Sad. You need to. You guys need. You need deal. crackers. It's <laughs> a small Christmas present that Not opens present. by pulling on its two sides. No. When you it's pull on the two sides, it explodes. No, Nothing it helps you get into the holiday spirit like a literal explosion before dinner. No, it's not that big. It's Number not a big deal. It's just technically pop though. Just have the thing what pops it when yeah, you put it. Yeah, but it's not a big explosion. It's not a big explosion. And you don't get a big present. You no. get like a little paper clip or something. The whole crack is like that thing. <laughs> you get a paper clip. Oh, you get a paper clip. Or, you or get, a little bookmark. Or you get sometimes you have a little mazes with a ball in and you yeah, kind of do it. Yeah, or you can it. get like a little bouncy frog thing. Or a nail clipper sometimes. You definitely get a joke though. Yeah, you, you guys don't joke. care about this, but we're telling you anyway. Oh. Always get a joke, always get a paper hat, and then a little Do you know what? This year, we'll, we'll take a picture of our crackers, because yeah. your mum will definitely have crackers. Oh, we'll definitely have crackers. <laughs> Christmas lights. If there is one tradition that Americans would big. surely miss in England, it would be the lack of decorative Christmas lights. Some people in America really go all out when decorating their homes during the holidays, and it really is a sight to see. It's a little different in England, though. This is not to say that there are no Christmas lights in England. They're just not to the same extent Jersey as it is in... It's quite big on... on oh, no way. Not compared to the UK. I can just say... I'm saying for Jersey, they're quite big on the lights, like in town. Nowhere oh, in town, So yes. in, the main, in the main part of Jersey, I feel like there's like... May actually make an effort. It's like Christmas, then you like drive a little bit and there's nothing the houses are shocking in the uk yeah. you probably have in every probably um county you probably got a few streets which are fully decked yeah and then it's pretty nap of them i think because Jersey's just small you've also got you've got the few houses that everyone knows about and they go around because we you go around and see the christmas lights yeah you know the few places but you have to drive to like yeah there's not many it. not many in all. america go big or go home right <laughs> number two treats for Santa. Ooh. Kids yeah, what do you put America? out? When I was a kid, I put out mince pie, mince carrot, pie, carrot, and milk. And milk. But then... And then whiskey for parent, normally. But no parent normally wants a whiskey. There's no parent. I mean, there's no parent. But I feel like any um, kids watching. nowadays, I don't know, a lot of my... Like, last year's, like, children... Just whatever the parent like, wants. They're like, we're leaving beer out for Santa. I'm like... Because the parent Your dad's having you on, mate. <laughs> Your dad's having you on. Can <laughs> often leave some cookies and milk for Santa Claus. Maybe even some carrots for the yeah. reindeer. Kids in England, however, treat Father Christmas like the adult that he is and leave him some brandy, cookies, and mince pie. Yeah, sounds about right. Yes, brandy. Number one, gifts under the Christmas tree. There is nothing that gives me the Christmas time feeling like placing gifts under the Christmas tree and opening them on Christmas Day. Yeah. In England, however, Gifts and Christmas presents are not placed under the Christmas I mean, tree. They are placed at the foot of your bed in a big stocking. Oh, right. That one's definitely wrong. That's not true. We do have stockings, but normally that's got like a little... And they're hung on the fireplace. In, hung on the fireplace. Or in the lounge. I mean, some people maybe put a stocking on the end of their bed, but that's not where the Christmas presents are. Santa leaves them under the tree. Under the tree. The majority of them under the tree. And, and a few go in a stocking. Yeah, but yeah... No, they don't leave it in the that bedrooms. That is wrong. Don't listen to this video. I'm not even funny, but how are you sneaking in your kid's bedroom putting on the present? <laughs> yeah. oh, how are you going to do that then? <laughs> now that you know the major differences between Christmas in America and England, 
Here are some other strange Christmas traditions from all over the world that may leave you scratching your head. Okay, look, but we don't know if he's right though. Pickle like, ornament. I don't know if I can. I feel like we're stretching this video out. We definitely are, but I don't know if I can trust these. No, I don't think I can trust him because he's kind of got all of them wrong. We'll watch him, but I don't know if we can trust him because ours have been wrong. Let yeah. us know if yours have been accurate. This Pickle one is pretty ornament. funny. What? German families have an interesting tradition which involves decorating their Christmas tree with a Christmas pickle. Wow. The Christmas pickle I do is like the, the pickle. last ornament to be but hung on the true. Christmas tree and is usually made of glass. According to Mental Floss, it is usually placed in a hidden spot in the Christmas tree. And the first child to find the pickle on Christmas Day has good luck for the upcoming year. There you go. They also receive a special gift. Oh, I like that. Competition. During the month of December in Austria, I've heard of Krampus as well. Mm -hmm. People don the mask of a ghoulish, evil creature called Krampus, committing pranks and scaring children. Krampus is considered the evil accomplice of Saint Nicholas. According to Wikipedia, Krampus is a horned, half goat, Wikipedia. half demon, oh yeah, death who haunts Ricky. and punishes children during the Christmas season. Creepy. Sure Roller skates. On Christmas Day in Caracas, Venezuela, hundreds of people can be seen on the street roller skating to mass. Wow. According to metro.co.uk, some children even tie ropes to their toes that are long enough to dangle out of their window. Roller what? skaters <laughs> tug from the ropes they see hanging from the windows in the morning to wake up any children who want to watch the event. Wow. I mean, Shoot it is true, but it's very interesting. Like, yeah, let us know more in the comments. That's quite interesting, actually. Every Christmas Eve in the Czech Republic, single women stand outside of their front doors and throw a shoe over their shoulder. If the shoe lands with the shoes pointing towards the door, it means that the woman will be married within one year. Wow, single that's ladies, quick. Single. Get shoes ready. You were a single so one. So it's like, so this, in that year, if I found someone and got married, Wow, and they could never be so lucky. You've basically got a 50% chance as well. Mm -hmm, so 15% of them are getting married that year. Well, it's a good job you're not single because they wouldn't be getting their dream. Oh, wow. <laughs> the engaged person right there. Wow. <laughs> <It's a cute laughs> Strange and funny differences between a Merry Christmas in America and a Merry Christmas in England. There you go. That is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. A few dodgy ones in there. A few dodged ones. But it's Christmas. As you yeah. guys can tell, we probably enjoyed that video because it's our yeah. first Christmas video. You love Christmas. Yeah. I love Christmas as well. And hopefully you guys love Christmas too. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Answer any questions in the comments below. would really appreciate it. And what should we do? Have a fantastic day. And a Merry Christmas. And <laughs> we'll see you, <laughs> Legends, in the next one. Peace.